So here is the key point about gun control. Here is, here is the fatal flaw in the argument that liberals make. And this is what you have to point out to the media and to the pro-gun control people. The key argument that they make, and this is, this is the rhetoric they always come out with, is that gun control keeps guns out of the hands of the bad guys, the criminals, the terrorists, blah, blah, blah. But here's the thing. No society has ever managed to keep guns away from the bad guys. Okay? The bad guys have always found a way to get guns. If you go around the world, that is the case. So when you implement gun control, you don't affect the bad guys. They still get their guns. What gun control does is it stops the good guys, the good people from getting guns. So what, what the Second Amendment does is it levels the playing field. Okay, The bad guys are going to have their guns anyway. So you need the Second Amendment to allow the good guys to carry and possess guns to protect themselves. So this is the key argument that you have to make. And that is why gun control has never worked and will never work. Because if you look at where you have the most deaths from guns, it is precisely in countries where they do have gun control. If you look at the top 25 countries in terms of deaths by guns, you're going to find that they all, every single one of them, have gun control. And the explanation is simple. Because, the, as I said, the bad guys are going to have their guns anyway. They have ways of, of finding guns. They deal with the underworld. They, they have the money. They, they have the connections. They're able to uh, bypass all the laws and all the law enforcement people and they're able to find guns. So in those countries where you have gun control, the bad guys get their guns and the gun control regulations stop the good people from getting guns. So you, you don't have a level playing field and that's why you have the the amount of debts in these in these countries i mean name them uh, i'll just name the top 10 countries honduras venezuela belize el salvador guatemala jamaica lesotho swaziland and even st kitts in the caribbean and south africa these are all countries these are the, this is the top 10 countries for gun violence and america comes nowhere close so people give the impression the liberal media and the liberal politicians, they give us this impression that America, that the, the amount of deaths, uh, the, de the rate of killing by guns is so high in America that it's like the highest in the world, but it, that's not true. America is not in the top 25 countries in terms of deaths by guns. And one other thing I have to point out is, did you know that 60% of the gun deaths in America are suicides. So it is not from, you know, people from homicide, people killing people. It's it, 60% is from suicides. So when you take that into account, actually America doesn't have that much of a high homicide rate uh, using guns. So the other point you have to make as well is that guns protect lives. Criminals are more likely to avoid uh, getting into a, a situation with people who they know are armed. Okay, if they know that certain communities people are like more likely to have guns in their homes, they are less likely to to invade or attack those homes. Criminals 
pick their target. They go where there are so-called gun-free zones or where there are tough gun control laws, where they know that people don't have guns. Okay, so that, that, is the, that, that is what you need to point out to liberals who make this argument that gun control is going to somehow solve everything. And, and then you have this ridiculous situation now where Obama goes around with, with the, all the terrorist incidents and promotes gun control as if gun control was going to like stop the, the guy in San Bernardino. Now how about Paris? France has the strictest uh, gun control regulations and they've been attacked I mean numerous times not once I mean we had the Charlie Hebdo attack then we had the recent multiple attacks so somebody needs to ask the president somebody needs to say Mr. President simple question you're advocating more gun control in the United States as a way to solve or curb terrorism incidents such as the one in San Bernardino but here we have France who has the strictest gun control and we've seen France has been repeatedly attacked so that by itself makes your logic or lack of logic seriously flawed somebody just needs to present that question to the president and ask him why do you think that having more gun control in the United States is gonna somehow decrease the chance of a terrorist attack when in France they've had the strictest gun control and it hasn't it hasn't you know and, and throughout Europe I mean they have strict gun control over there I mean in Belgium you have strict gun control yet the terrorists that's kind of like their headquarters so here the, the media the liberal media needs to somebody needs to push back on the liberal media and right now the, re the Republicans are not doing such a great job they need to make they need to make the argument narrow it down okay narrow it down here are the facts uh, gun control does not lead to less violence or less killings from guns because we've seen it in in societies where you have gun control as I said the top 25 countries in the world in terms of homicide rates by guns are all have gun control they all have gun control so the Second Amendment what it does is it levels the playing field okay that's exactly what it does it levels the playing field it allows regular people to arm themselves so that they can protect themselves against criminals murderers robbers etc without the Second Amendment you leave people vulnerable because as I said in the beginning no society has ever been able to keep guns out of the hands of criminals they always find a way to get guns 